Alright people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Tonight I'm going to take a look at Bandai's SH Figure Arts Darth Maul from Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Now like I mentioned in my review of uh, Figure Arts Luke, I, I'm a newbie to Figure Arts. I, I've never had anything before that. And even when Vader and the Stormtrooper came out, I passed on them. But when Luke came out and the review started coming in, I just had to grab him. He was amazing. So from then on, I've put every Star Wars figure arts figure on pre-order and Maul is the first one to show up. The packaging for these, I like this. Nice and compact. It's not trying to be fancy or, you know, it just it shows the figure in the front window. It shows some pictures on the back. I don't know what it says, but some more pretty pictures and, you know, just black, silver. It's not plain, but it's nothing really special. You know, the focus is on the figure. I want the figure. I'm good with that. So let's break this out of the package. Okay, and there we go. After having Luke, I knew that I was going to be kind of blown away by this figure. And I completely am. But uh, there's some fiddly stuff going on. It's not quite as smooth as the Luke figure. Don't get me wrong. Still pretty amazing. But, uh, yeah, I've had a couple problems. Now, the details on the figure are just amazing all the cloth yeah i know it's all black but the boots the gloves you can tell the differences between cloth and leather the belt uh, it just has different sheens just the detail work uh, the boots have you know every little detail the face is what amazes me the most i mean it just looks like you know ray park in makeup these little spikes i I was half expecting them to be, you know, kind of soft, but nope, these are just sharp. Maul does come with an instruction sheet, and it tells you, you know, the extra hands that the lightsaber blades can go in and out of the different hilts here, the split ones and then the full one. I, the hands, it tells, you know, that the long hilt goes into the kind of the more open hand, the smaller hilts go in the tighter hand, but I just like these. We'll get to that in a minute. And then, you know, exchanging the heads. Now, what's interesting here, this is all, you know, I'm guessing Japanese. Except for four words uh, that this dotted line means attachable. The lighter solid line is removable. <laughs> and then the only other two words in uh, English is warning sharp for the horns on the head and they are quite sharp uh, we see the return of the gold color but not so much in the eyes you can see kind of a gold and it's kind of nice because it's reflective it you know it makes it look more like an eyeball now the other gold comes on the alternate head and it's in the teeth it kind of makes it look like he has you know gold teeth where it's supposed to be yellow if I remember right but it do, it's not jarring. It doesn't just come out at you. And for some reason, either I forgot or never knew that Darth Maul had an earring. But you can see it on both heads up here. The only paint on the figure is up here on the head. And it's just clean. It's just, it's, it's pretty much perfect. And then the eyes painted very nicely. It's just, you know, he has that staring getting ready for battle look and then the alternate head has the you know the meaner look to it it's it's darth maul in six inch form that's all i can say now for articulation that's where i get a little bit it, it gets a little bit fiddly for me not frustrating it's a little bit goosey the head is on a ball on top so you get excellent excellent side to side and then you get back and you get forward, not forward, not so much there. You can kind of shift it and make it go down a little bit. But at the bottom of the neck, there's also a ball. So you get more down. He, he can't look straight down. He can't bury his chin in his chest. But it's still pretty good. Now you can also turn at the bottom of the neck, which is okay. But uh, my OCD kicks in and I start to see that the neck isn't quite straight. So I, it's kind of, have to get in there and straighten it up before you get it looking forward pose the shoulders ugh, I couldn't even tell you what all is going on in the shoulders here there's uh, a hinge and swivel 
inside of a mechanism that goes up and down you can kind of see this piece right here goes in and out as I up and down it and then it has a butterfly that you can go forward and back there's not a huge amount of movement there but enough to get you know his shoulder back his shoulder forward and then outside of that where you would expect a uh, bicep swivel that swivel is actually up on the ball so you can rotate there too so you have here and here so it gets out of alignment every now and then and it gets kind of crazy and on mine it comes off fairly easy the, it's not a mushroom peg it's just kind of a it just has a dent on it it's not bad I actually have at the more I mess with them I've gotten used to the arm coming off I can get it in the pose I want and then putting it back on it just makes things just slightly easier and it just pops right back on it stays on you know most of the time there's a swivel down here at the lower bicep right above the elbow and then there's a hinge and it gets up past 90 it's not bad for a single hinge on the left side though I thought it was loose but as I was removing the hands I guess I pulled the elbow a little bit and it came out of socket it doesn't want to pull out I don't want to try pulling really hard on it but you can see how it's loose if it's sticking out a little bit you just pop it back in and then it's tight again so again not a biggie it's just something to watch out for when posing I don't see a swivel at the glove but you have a swivel down here and then a ball joint it's a hinge and it swivels around and it swivels at both above the wrist ball and below where the hand attaches you can get up and down motion with the wrist or if you get it down and then rotate around you can make it go side to side the torso it's not as articulated as I would like it to be he can't crunch over really far it's down at the bottom right behind the belt there's a ball and I accidentally found this too but you can pull it apart uh, the belt comes off separate the skirt piece comes off separate and then you have the lower legs and you know you could call this an action feature if you want since you know spoiler alert Darth Maul gets cut in half and you can see the internal workings there there's it's just snaps on that ball and actually it looks like it's attached all the way up to the neck if I shake this the head moves back and forth so I, I that's as far as I'm tearing him apart and to put it back together you just pop it back on the ball and there you go the hips have a rubber crotch piece over it but you can get out pretty good like so you can get forward pretty good this skirt is rubber but it's not you know stiff it's not super soft either I mean it has some uh, resistance to it but it doesn't hinder articulation so that's not bad and then back the knees are a single joint but it comes all the way back to there and without the skirt the knees do look kind of weird I mean just the clearance had that had to be given for a single joint to bend that far it just looks like you know this cutout with a ball inside of it but it's hidden the elbows are kind of like that but it's not as terrible as I thought it would be it's actually kind of nice there is a swivel at the boot kind of it's more of a piece attached between the two pieces and you get a little bit of swivel but it doesn't turn all the way around the left one's easier to turn at first I turned the right one and didn't get much so I thought no but the left one does turn the angles are kind of a disappointment you only get back that far and forward this far so there's not a lot of range of movement there he can't crouch really far down but he does have the toes so if you get back in a running stance at least you can get that and then there is a slight rocker it's more to the inside than out which is okay wide stance 
As I said, he does come with the alternate head, the angry face, kind of gritting teeth. The head come, just pops off. And if you look at the hinge, there's a gap right there. So when I'm popping the other head on, I am, you know, I'm afraid of breaking that. I haven't had a problem so far, but it's just kind of worrisome. <laughs> and the trick I figured out to this, the horns are not right here. Put your finger right there and push down. You try to get on top of the horns and it's going to stab the hell out of you. But there you go. Easy enough. It goes right on. He looks angry. The hands are the same way, kind of scary to pop off, but once you do it a couple times, it's not terrible. He comes with fists in the package. And yeah, this... Oh, kind of worrisome. He comes with the looser grip hand. He comes with the tighter grip hand. I guess just for the half hilts. And then he comes with just an open hand. Force push... Uh, relaxed look and getting it on you just gotta wait for it to pop it's just whew. but it looks so good it does now of course he does come with his lightsaber and uh, comparing it to the Hasbro version which I have right here the Hasbro version is the same length but man the hilt is huge and the figure arts is just you know more streamlined more silver more detailed it's just cleaner it, it I think it just looks better. I mean, for the money you pay, of course, it's going to look better. The blades are removable. You just twist, pull out both sides. Getting the hilt into this hand, I figured out the best way is just take the blades out, put it in, and then replace the blades back in. And he holds it well. Once you push it past the uh, emitter, which is wider than the rest of the hilt, it, it's a little bit loose, but his hand conforms back down around it, holds it tight. Obviously, you can get some amazing poses out of this. I cannot wait for Obi-Wan to come out early next year, have somebody to duel with. I forgot to mention, he comes with all the same hands on the left as he does the right. So, hit relaxed, uh, loose grip, tight grip, and fist. And then he comes with the two smaller hilts from when you know, his lightsaber was cut in half. And it, this works the same way. The blades go in. And he can hold them pretty good. And even though, you know, he only fought with one, it's it looks pretty cool to have him with two blades. Here he is with the Hasbro Black Series Maul. And even though there's nothing wrong, really, with the Black Series Maul, you can see the difference. I mean, it's obvious. Whereas the figure arts mall is pretty much Ray Park scaled down. The Black Series one is kind of its own thing. Before the figure arts, I would have said this Darth Maul was perf you know, perfectly fine. And even though it still is fine for the shelf, now that I have, you know, the figure arts, it's just... Uh, I, I'm definitely going to replace it with the figure arts. Thankfully, for the Black Series one, you can pop the head off and have his robe. So, that kind of saves it for me because... I forgot how this goes on. Because I can, you know, display the figure arts one as the, you know, final dual mall. And I can have the Hasbro Black Series one with... Uh, this robed head. The only thing I don't like about the Black Series Mall, not that this is a review of the Black Series Mall, his legs don't really want to go together and it's kind of hard for him to stand sometimes unless you have him action posed. But there you go. Now you can have Duel of the Fates Mall and Tatooine Mall. And it's pissing me off, so out with that. Now when you put this new mall next to the figure arts Luke you can kinda see a scale difference I don't know official heights for Ray Park and Mark Hamill but you can see how much skinnier Luke is but his head is much bigger than malls I don't know which one's perfect because when I have them separate Luke over with the black series other black series figures Luke looks fine Luke looks great same way with mall 
have him separate. He looks great. Put them together. Uh, there's something going on here. It's it's a little bit weird, but Luke will be on a different shelf. He'll look great. I'm not worried about it. But at the end of the day, this is nearly a perfect mall. And I only say near perfect because some of the articulation is kind of difficult to get into, you know, the pose and then get the rest of the figure in the pose. I, but once you do, it looks freaking amazing. I, it's just uncanny how much this looks like Ray Park or Darth Maul from the movie. The only thing that would make this closer to perfect would be, you know, a robed head for, you know, the Tatooine, his robe. If we do get the Sith speeder that they've been teasing at at conventions, maybe he'll, maybe it'll come with a cloak, you know, and then even closer to perfect Maul. Now, the only drawback to, to now buying all the figure arts figures and the Bandai model kits and even some of the Black Series figures, my box of extra hands and heads is filling up quickly, but that's not a huge problem. Yeah, it can be annoying uh, trying to store all this stuff, trying to remember what goes to what, trying not to lose it. I'm not going to lie, I can gripe about it, but I'm not really griping about it. I'm just trying, I'm, I'm trying to make up drawbacks to this figure, and that's all I can come up with. Oh no, it comes with too many extra parts. No. If you get a chance, buy this. Even though you, if you think the Black Series Mall is the end-all be-all, give this one a try. I mean, I, you'll be happy you did. And, you know, if you end up with two malls, you have two different displays. Uh, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. So, if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the whoosh. And there he is with the other head. It's kind of the windswept look from the cell barge. But... You can also pull the hair off the back. It comes in half. And then the top of the hair comes off this face. I ordered this one from Amazon Japan. It came on a bigger board stretch wrap to it. So the figure was pretty good. It was pretty good protected.